me uh, over the, the last few weeks. Of course, I'm disappointed, but we have two cracking candidates left in the final now. It will be open to the members, and I hope that we have a positive summer really scrutinising their policies and what they've got to offer our country. Um, myself, I'll be looking uh, to see who is the candidate that is pledging the most on education and recognises the value of education to create opportunities to tackle our productivity crisis and move this country forward in what is really going to be a very challenging two years. Would you urge Conservative members to hold off voting quickly? Because there does seem to be a disconnect between the fact they can vote pretty soon, and we assume many of them will, and the fact that actually they've got six weeks to think about it and a dozen hustings to base their judgment on. Yeah, uh, I think the ballots fall at the weekend, in fact, so very soon. What I would uh, recommend they do is, is consider all of the facts. And as you say, not rush this decision, wait a, a few days at least, if not a few weeks. And I expect that they will be speaking to their members of parliament and asking them for their advice. And that's why it will be so crucial that uh, members of parliament speak to their, their, their local members over the coming weeks and advise them. Because at the end of the day, we're the individuals who have been working with these final two. We have that insight that our members can't uh, obviously have. Well, how, can you give us some adjectives that adequately sum up the, the tone of the contest? Uh, I mean, it, it's not a private matter, is it? People like David Davis describing it as the dirtiest contest he can recall. How dirty was it? Well, Penny, uh, who I worked with, tried to, uh, well, always did a positive campaign and focused very much on what she had to offer the country. And that's one of the things that really attracted me to her campaign. I don't think the dirty tricks, if you like, actually came from the campaigns anyway, though. I think there was uh, a lot going on from the media. Uh, and I certainly, you know, I know the, the final two. I know Rishi and I know Liz, and I know that neither of them would want to be uh, playing dirty tricks. I think, though, the, the media did have an agenda to play and at several points in the time did, did gun for Penny, which is very disappointing because I do think she would have made an excellent prime minister. But equally, we've got two fantastic individuals on that final ballot and the opportunity for members now to decide who will be the next leader of the Conservative Party and ultimately the next Prime Minister.